Let's now get you that amazing story of a solar aircraft, a solar powered aircraft that's flying at this time towards Ahmedabad. This aircraft took off uh, from, it was originally supposed to, to come to India uh, from, uh, at this point of time, from uh, the Gulf region. It's taken off, it's going to land in Ahmedabad in a short while from now. It's on a world tour. It's the world's first solar powered aircraft that's supposed to fly around the globe. It's on its first leg. Ahmedabad, it was supposed to be the pit stop. The next flight is to Varanasi. It's flying on solar power and the pilot of this aircraft is with me on a live broadcast from on board this flight. Mr. Picard, welcome on headlines today. Uh, tell us about your experience flying this solar powered aircraft, sir. It's taken off, it's going to land in Ahmedabad in a short while from now. It's on a world tour. It's the world's first solar powered aircraft that's supposed to fly around the globe. It's on its first leg. Ahmedabad is supposed to be the pit stop. The next flight is to Varanasi. It's flying on solar power and the. It is an amazing airplane because it flies only on solar power. I have no fuel on board, zero fuel. And this airplane is charging the batteries right now with the sun so I can continue to fly at night. And this is a huge innovation showing how much the renewable energies and the clean technologies are now mature. We can do incredible things with solar power. And not only for airplanes, but also, of course, on the ground. We would like to inspire as many people as possible to also use solar power for their lives, to propel electrical cars and for their house. This is the meaning of this solar impulse around the world project. This is a wonderful innovation. You're flying around the world with absolutely no jet fuel, only on solar power. Now, one leg of your flight is trans-Pacific. You fly across the Pacific, you sit in that cockpit for five nights and five days. How are you training for it? Headline Television, did you read my answer? Loud and clear. Mission Control Center, I don't know if they're still online. Yeah, but wrong. me neither. <laughs> this is a wonderful innovation. You're flying around the world with... Uh, now, one leg of your flight is trans-Pacific. You fly across the Pacific, you sit in that cockpit for five nights and five days. How are you training for it? Yes, it's true that this airplane has to save energy, be very energy efficient. So it flies quite slowly. It is true, we fly around 30 knots, which means... Uh, 55 kilometers per hour so for the pacific for the atlantic later on it will be five days and five nights but the pilot can rest in his cockpit you can put the seats that you have toilets on board you have food special food from nestle to keep us for five days and five nights so it should be okay it should be okay like that Wish you all the best for an outstanding flight and that's real new innovation. We continue to track the story very closely. Wish you safe landing in Ahmedabad, in Varanasi and for the rest of your flight.